Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to sign signatures and then verify it using Viper. The first part of signing a message is to hash the message that you're going to sign. And then you would sign the message hash off-chain. Verification of the signature can be done on-chain using a smart contract. And I'll show you how to do this in Viper. The first part, hash a message to sign. For this example, we'll hash a simple message, a string. So here I've created a simple function. This function named getHash will take in a string as input and then return a catchact 256 of the string. So this will return a bytes32 hash. And this completes the first part. The second part, signing a message hash off chain. This part will be done off chain, so there is no code to write over here. Later, when I show you a demo and remix, I'll also show you how to sign a message using the browser and MetaMask. And the third part is verify signature on chain. This will be done inside this contract. And to verify a signature, there's actually two parts to it. The first part is to hash the message hash with some prefix. And then we verify that hash against the signature. So let's say that we have a message hash from step number one. The actual message that was signed in step number two is the hash of some prefix with the message hash from step number one. The actual code is this. We take the hash from step number one, prefix it with the message ethereum sign message, and then take the catch 256 of the prefix and the hash. And this will return the hash that was actually signed. In order to verify the signature, we'll take the output from this function and then feed it in here along with the signature. If the signature in the if sign hash checks out, in other words, if it was a valid signature, then this function will return the address corresponding to the signer. The Viper function that we need to call in order to recover this signer address is EC recover passing in the hash that was signed, and passing in three parameters, B, R, and S. The parameter R is the first 32 bytes of the signature. And we can get this R parameter by getting the first 32 bytes from the signature and then converting it into uint. The second part of the signature is the S parameter. And we can get this by getting the next 32 bytes. So here we're saying from the 32nd position, get the next 32 bytes and then convert it into uint. So that's parameter S. The last parameter that we need in order to recover the signer from the signature is the B parameter. And we can get this parameter by getting the last byte from the signature by saying from the 64th position in the signature, get one byte and then we convert it into uint. So that's how you split the signature into three parts, B, R, and S, that we need to feed into EC Recover. You don't have to know what these parameters represent in order to use this function. And I don't know much about them either. What I do know is that the first two parameters, R and S, relate to elliptic curves, and the last parameter, B, relates to Ethereum. And that completes our code that will recover the signer given the hash and the signature. So I've copied the code onto Remix and then compiled it. But if I try to deploy this contract, I cannot do it. I guess this is a Remix bug where I cannot deploy Viper contracts at the moment. So I've rewritten this code in Solidity. And we'll deploy this code and then I'll walk you through how to do signature verification using smart contract. Once Remix is fixed and you can deploy Viper contracts, you should be able to follow the same steps and then verify a signature. But for now, we'll be deploying a Solidity contract. So I'm going to click Deploy. And then for the message that we're going to be hashing, I'll say Hello Viper and then click on get hash. 
and then we assign this hash. So I'm going to copy this hash and then hit F12 to open the browser console. From here, we're going to be calling the web3 to assign the message hash. But first, I'm going to name the variable hash and set it equal to the message hash that we just copied. And then I'm going to get the default count to sign the hash by saying ethereum dot enable. And since this returns a promise with the default account, I'll say then, and then we'll just log the account that was unlocked. So that is the account that we're going to be using to sign this message. And then I'll take this account and then assign it to a variable called account. To sign the message, we'll need to call ethereum.request and the command that we'll be calling is personal sign. For the parameters, we'll need to pass the account and the hash. Again, this returns a promise, so we'll log the output by saying then dot console.log. You'll see a MetaMask opening up, and I'll just click sign. And that is the signature from signing the hash above. To verify the signature, I'll have to copy the hash that was signed, and then we'll need to get the actual hash that was signed, which is prefixed with Ethereum sign message. So that's the hash that was actually signed. So I'm going to copy this and then paste it into verify, and then paste the signature as a second input to the function verify. And you can see here that this function says that the signer was this address. And we can double check that this address is equal to this address over here. Now let's see what we'll get if we pass in another message hash inside here with this same signature. So for the hash, I'll say hello solidity, get the hash, copy it get the if sign message hash, copy this again, and then paste it in here as the first input, pass in the same signature as second input. Notice that this time it returns a different address that is not equal to the actual signer. All right, so that's how you sign a message and then verify it using Viper. Hopefully Remix is fixed by the time you try out this code. Thanks for watching and see you later.